Hey everyone, it's Miss Gordon. It's good to be chatting with you today. And I just wanted to say hi and check in after we all got the news on Friday that the school year is gonna be like this until the end. Um, we have all been doing our best adjusting to this new cadence of life. And I know that it is different for everybody. And I just wanna tell you, you are all doing an incredible job um, from our point of view in the school building or you know not the school building but the the school operations um as it may be um we are so impressed with how families are adjusting and participating and doing the best that you guys can um and just know that we're here to support you all the way through the end um i know that um for me at least on friday i knew i could I could see this news coming for a while now, but hearing it was um, a little bit of a different story, kind of hit really hard on Friday. So I've been processing all weekend, getting ready to, to address you guys in a video. And I, um, I know that some of the end of the year closure type activities, we're gonna have to rethink and get really creative. Um, and when we celebrate our fifth graders and we celebrate our pre-K and kindergartners and everyone moving on to the next grade level. So just know that we're thinking about all of that and, and we will honor um, the end of the year and the beginning of a new one appropriately when we can. Um, and that being said, we're also thinking about how all of the end of the year systems function now. Um, and I really appreciate your grace uh, and patience as we get to organizing all of those systems. Um, and I promise that once we as a district have some of that um, laid out for you, I'll share that information with you. Um, speaking of grace and patience, I can't thank you enough for extending that to us through uh, the beginning of our online learning process. I know that there have been bumps in the road, um, just getting familiar with the Google platform and the way that you turn work in and the way that you get feedback and and with the, the life that we're living at home now, um, there are bumps in that road. So I, I'm so grateful for each of you for extending the patience and the flexibility with our teachers who are facing a lot of the same things that you're facing at home, having kids, balancing space and time, um, and then and then just knowing that we're all in this together and we want what's best for, for all of our kids um, and all of our families. So thank you for that. Um, one more thing is that I love hearing from you guys. I am um, in my house by myself, so I, I really do love hearing from you, and I, I love to know how the learning is going or, or what you're facing that's challenging and how I can help. So please keep reaching out, those of you that have. Thank you. Um, and I um, am here to help in any way that I can. So I hope that you guys are having a restful Sunday, and I look forward to ongoing learning in week three of our at-home learning. And I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.